Hello everyone, Redhog36 back with more Paper Mario. In the last episode, we finally found the location of T Shy Guy's Toy Box here in Toad Town. And uh, in this episode, we're going to take that storeroom key that we found to the um, shop here. I actually went to the wrong one. That's the kind of confusing part about this, is that there's two shops and, you know, you gotta find which one has the actual storeroom key. But it's actually the one closest to Shy Guy's Toy Box, so that actually makes sense. Alright, so we can do one of two things. We can either talk it, uh, talk to him. Oh, Mario, it's you. A Shy Guy stole my storm key. Blah, blah, blah. So you can either give it to him. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to barge into the door. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, Mario, please don't open the storeroom without my permission, alright? Huh? Hey, you got back my storeroom key! Oh, thank you, thank you, you saved my business! So he, like, starts yelling at us, and he's like, wait a second, you got it back. <laughs> Alright, uh, tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back. Except it disappeared, and now there's no lock, so you can't lock it anymore. So we got various items here, I'm just gonna see, um, if my inventory's full here. One, two, three, oh wait, no, I know it is. Um, so I'm not gonna get any of those items quite yet. I hope I remember to come back for them if I need them. Um, you can also just pick them up to sell them right back to him. Uh, but here, the toy train. And remember, in the last video, that we need- The item just, like, appeared on the table. Whatever. Um, in the last video we, uh, needed to get a train for, um, the toy box. And a toy train seems like the best thing. So let's, uh, open the door. Come on. Alright, there we go. Hop in the toy box, and let's, uh, talk to that, uh, guy who runs the station. I'm not sure what that guy's name is. Or what he would be called. Look, we can't very well ride on a tiny little toy train. That'd be impossible. Put that back in its toy box. And it gives you the even bigger hint of calling it a toy box, and even capitalizing the T and the B in toy box. So, we click here, we throw it in. It's raining toys! Or toy. Whatever. But, now that it's bigger, and we can shrink down, we can definitely ride that train. So... What do you say we head over to Pink Station? Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. Public transit's up and running. You can use the switches in front of the station to choose the train's direction, which I just did. Pink Station, let's do this. We're leaving all aboard! Alright, now this cutscene can be skipped, but I'm just gonna show it this one time, so... Yep. Next stop, Pink Station. Now arriving at Pink Station. Pink Station! So yes, a lot uh, shorter ride than the uh, train in Toad Town. Station stop, Pink Station. Welcome to Pink Station, passengers. And there is I Spy working. I was just about to point that out. At every station, you're going to find a star piece panel. So here we go, and we got a treasure chest over here. And there's the mailbag for the, um, for the mailman Toe Down. Hopefully he'll give us a reward for that. Uh, we got a save block here, I'm not really sure why. Um, because there was one just at... Hold on, there, something turned on in the background. Yep, it was the dehumidifier and that makes pretty loud noise, so. Um, I actually don't remember which way we're supposed to go, so I will... Okay, I guess it's this way. <laughs> oh no! It's so evil! Now, if she used that against us, um, actually, new enemy here. Wow, my psh psh actually went along with the music. <laughs> um, I'll take a bow. We haven't had her out in a little bit. Let's see if I can get a first strike. Oh, come on. Um, did I get the flip? Nope. Alright, whatever. Those are Sky Guys. You can also attack their balloons to make them, um, go down. Basically, it's, it allows you to use your hammer and get- and it gets rid of their, um, slingshot, which does one more damage than their normal attack. Also, we have a medi guy. These guys aren't really that, um, attack 
heavy, I'm not really sure what I'm saying, but um, they can heal themselves and their um, teammates here. So I am thinking just uh, get rid of the normal green shy guy here. Uh, you can see the variety of, variety of colors in the shy guys kind of showing up here. Alright, we pull the control stick back, get our five hits, and the sky guy is down. Oh, there is their quicker attack that is harder to dodge and for, really? Okay, so you got to see two, two of the things that I mentioned before. The healing and the um, attack that's two damage, but it's uh, harder to dodge. Get the medi guy right here. Usually you want to take out these guys first so they don't heal like they just did before. Um, they also have an attack. Uh, here's him failing. <sighs> but, um, yeah, if the uh, green shy guy got that. Actually, I want to show that. I want to show that. Hopefully, he'll do the attack I'm thinking. Smack you! Fine, don't do the tech. I don't care. I don't care! Nine star points. Not bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at the shot! He just look. Look at him! Look at him! He's like. <laughs> that animation right there, that was hilarious. But if you go over here. Almost jumped down actually. You get the defend plus badge. This is like damage dodge, except um, instead of having to use the action command, you automatically decrease the damage Mario takes by one if you use the action command or not. I'm gonna try to skip around this guy. You can get back down by doing this. And you can see we're at this like little conveyor belt of shy guys coming along. So what they'll do is they'll walk by, and they'll get out by flipping this panel, and you'll have to battle them if you run into them, obviously. But if you go when another shy guy is coming, you can flip into here. Whoa! Get past one guy. Have a treasure chest here. Get the ice power badge. This will be very, very helpful in the next chapter, I believe. Um. Increases attack against fire enemies by two. Um, probably should have deposited some of my items, but uh, Thunder Rage obviously better than Thunder Bolt, so I might have to get rid of that, and I just think I will. Get out of my way. Awesome. And we get the frying pan for Taste Tea. I'm gonna cut back to Pink Station, and we'll see what's on the uh, going to the. Uh, west, sorry. Alright, back here at Pink Station, we're gonna want to head to the left. You can fail at jumping up here and get a coin. Uh, new enemy, why not? These guys, as you can see, when you attack them, that you can they can change their um, attack from slingshot to... Uh, the hammer. These guys are spy guys. Um, obviously, you can see of their uh, camouflage. Not very helpful in a colorful, uh, colorful environment. But uh, yeah, these guys have a special attack that um, can disable one of your attacks, like your hammer or your jump. They can't disable things like star spirits, but um, yeah, if if they disable your jump and you kill him and then you have the medi guy like here, well you can't jump on him so you're gonna have to use like a hammer badge or an item or just wait until, or just use your party member. It's kind of annoying if that happens but um, it doesn't happen too often which is good. Take out this medi guy, get our six star points and be on our merry way. <laughs> And holy mother. Um, 
Anything back here? I feel like there should be. Whatever. Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why, I'm just an ordinary food-loving shy guy. Ugh, I'm hungry. Um... Um... I don't think you would like any of this stuff. <laughs> but, uh, now that we got the mailbag and, uh, Tasty's frying pan, let's cut back to Toad Town and give those items back. Yeah, by the way, I'm very sorry about that Gourmet Guy voice, that was pretty awful. Um, Tasty is very sad, but we'll cheer you up. Oh, hello there, hon. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. That really burns me up. No! But you aren't going to give me back my frying pan? Mario, how could you? <laughs> Again, I love what you- what the characters say when you say no. It's hilarious. Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan. You saved it from the Shy Guys. Thank you so much, Mario. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. Tra la 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 this is my most delicious cake. One taste of it won my late darling's heart. I swear I would never make it again, but you're a very, you're a very special, Mario. Just one bite will make anybody go Gaga. <laughs> well, I do not want to turn into Lady Gaga, so let's say we give it away to, to someone, someone very hungry. You can see where I'm going with this. <laughs> Mario, this guy really, really looks hungry. I know. What do you think his hunger level is? It's over 9,000! Okay, I'm... what the heck? Have some cake. <laughs> if you accidentally eat... hold on. Oh. Oh. Ah. Delicious! This is lips packing good! Man, that guy's moving! Yum! And my family comes, so you, I'm probably gonna have to pause and oh yeah and stuff. Ha ha! I knew. Oh wow, super soda. Well, there's there's one that you can find. Could have clicked that Koopa Troll, but whatever. Um. Oh, these guys. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Bombette. Why not? Die! They just ran in a cir- Oh, well, I guess th this is also a good place for, um... What was it? That ice power badge. So I might have to put that on in a little bit. But, um... Two guys here. Groove guy. So they're basically clowns and they can make you dizzy just like the Dark Koopas. And Pyro guy. They can hurt you a lot because they are made of fire. Obviously. So, um... I'm just gonna... Well, actually, hold on just a second. One, two, three, go! Ah! Well, that worked. Um, I could use Thunder Rage, but I'm not going to be stupid. As you can see, um, we did one extra damage on the pyro guy because he exploded and he can do that just like fuzzies and bring forth another shy guy. <sighs> of course. Um, well, let's get rid of him so he does not do that again. And, um, we'll just take out the shy guy. Let's see if he can do it. Yes, he's doing it. Okay, watch this. So he like poses, sticks the landing, and there's like a background that like cheers for him if you don't get the acting command. It's kind of funny. 12 star points, not bad, not bad. Alright, we get heart. And you can see a suspicious space in between these blocks. We get a dizzy dial. Um, let's see if I can avoid hit or completely hit him. 
Hey, blue shy guy, we haven't seen you yet. Why? Come on. You know what? I don't care. I don't care! I've been saying that a lot. And it's so fun to say. You should try. You should try it. But anyway, we got our three lucky sevens. We won the lottery, guys. And we won 12 star points at the slot machines. Alright. Get a coin block right here. Hitting money. Punch bricks for money, kids. It won't hurt a bit. Alright. Also, there's a suspicious space around... There's a suspicious... There's... There's the space... There it is. There's the suspiciousness. Okay. And we pull this lever. And with that, track flips, and we can get across now to the next station. And Pyro Guy. That was intense. Okay, that was pretty cool. Nine more star points. We're actually pretty- we're racking them up pretty good this episode. Okay. Let's head back to Pink Station. Yeah, Pink Station I brought out Bomb Bed. I should have had Cooper out for Blue Station, but whatever. Um... I think this is actually a pretty good spot to end it off. I guess this uh, save block does have a purpose. So... In the next episode, we will be exploring, obviously, Green Station and Red Station in search of the next Star Spirit, which is obviously somewhere here in uh, Shy Guy's Toy Box, and um, go through more of its trials, find more hidden blocks and star pieces. See you guys then.